G'day, I'm Sharpie101 and welcome to a short tutorial on my digital clock and stopwatch. This guide and video is to show you how to use my design plus a little on how and why I built it. So let's get straight to it. First up is setting the clock. So let's go down here and press the button to show all the lights to zeros. Swing over to each of these panels here, one, two, three, four, and set the time up to whatever it is, one, two, specifically. Come back over here and start the clock up with button one. Nice and easy, everything labeled for you. Next is starting the stopwatch. All you have to do is swing down near the piston, press button four to start that stopwatch, all nice and easy for you. Both of these designs are identical except for the lights used. Now why would I build such a contraption? I built it specifically for multiplayer servers to be running in the background or to time races or whatever it may be, but also I found that after triggering multiple timer blocks after a certain time of like an hour or two, it became less and less accurate in time once every trigger went through, it would lose like 0.1 of a second strange enough. So it would lose seconds if not minutes over the course of half an hour or an hour. I specifically made two versions for the fact that interior lights are more performance friendly for everyone's PCs if need be, and for the fact that spotlights will show greater distances than interior lights will. Now the way this thing works may look complex but it's really not. All these timers on the back wall are to hold individual numbered light groups to turn itself off and the next one on in sequence like you see on the left very easily. The way they're all triggered instead of timer blocks very inaccurately over 12 hours is through this piston right here to trigger each of these sensors to then reverse that piston, clear the lights before, triggering the stacked group of timers to show the light and then turn itself off and the next one on in sequence very easily just like that. A little added bonus in case you have a server, these white blocks here are uh, to set anything off at a specific time and the way you do that is to put this timer block in between where any of these grey timer blocks turn itself off and the next one on to trigger anything in your world that you set specifically if you have a server. So have fun with that one. Make sure you use the link in the description below and download this thing nice and easy for yourself. While you're there, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and commented your thoughts, perhaps. If you like these sort of complex and fun designs, make sure you subscribe and maybe even check out my survival series or the one that's on the screen right now. Till next time, stay sharp and thanks again.